What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. So if you remember from yesterday's video, we were working very hard on getting the gray crew cab OBS all dialed in. Thanks to our buddy, Nick. And the reason for that, well, we're actually on location right now. And you're gonna see in a second why Nick put some time in prepping the paint on the gray crew cab. Now you guys know this truck has been my baby. I'm a sucker for old crew cab OBS. I'm a sucker for any old OBS. You guys know I currently own two. But this one we have put so much time so much effort into making a nice, beautiful, modern-ish version of an OBS truck. So being that we now live out on the ranch, there's dirt out there, mainly there's animals, um, we have cats, which I never thought I would own, and we got a bunch of donkeys that really are curious and like to walk around vehicles. I wanna make sure that this beautiful paint shop, thanks to our friends over at California Auto Works, put on this truck, um, doesn't ever get screwed up because it has been an absolute heck of a time getting it to where it's at right now. So the good thing is there's an option to protect our paint. And that's why we're here today with our friends over at Ceramic Pro Carlsbad. What's up, Adam? How's it going, brother? Nice to see you. Nice Good to, see, to you. see you. Adam, owner of Ceramic Pro. Well, I would say Carlsbad, but you've got quite a few locations now, huh? I own four shops, but I also am a distributor who sells to shops nationwide. So I, I consider myself to be Ceramic Pro Adam. I like it. Ceramic Pro Adam. We're, all right, that's how you're going in my phone from now on. Perfect. <laughs> so Adam, give us a tour, man. This place is awesome. So this is Carlsbad. This is one of our newer facilities. It's been open under two years. And we try to stay like, you know, high class and give people a warm reception so we've got you know a nice waiting area and then a lot of times people think of like car wash and detail shops in a particular type of way but you know we really elevate above that we do here everything here from paint correction detailing ceramic pro coatings uh, window film installation and for you what we're going to do for your vehicle is uh, ppf ceramic pro kabacha i'm not Super new to actually uh, clear bra on a vehicle. I don't know, is that like the, the non-technical term? Uh, clear bra, paint protection film, PPF. Gotcha. Same thing. So on my Denali out there, it actually came from the dealership with a clear bra on it. And the thing's been a lifesaver on that truck. I almost, I, I kind of screwed up and I didn't do the bumper and I didn't do the grill surround after we painted it. I definitely should have. So I don't want to make that mistake with the gray truck. So what exactly are we doing today? So we're gonna wrap the entire truck in Ceramic Pro Kavacha, which is a self-healing, or actually instant self-healing, clear bra or paint protection film. The difference between what we're gonna do and what you see on your other vehicle is that was a partial front. So you always have that line right. and, and you kind of see the edges. We're gonna make this thing look virtually invisible. Tuck every edge, wrap the truck. It will actually, rather than being a paint protection film, it'll still be that, but it's, it's also a paint enhancement film. It'll make it look glossier, deeper, protects against everything that films do. Scratches, chips, minor dents and dings, bug stains, bird stains, all that. So we have this really cool uh, hood as a display. Uh, we try to put this in all of our shops to really show people what it can do, right? So basically what you're seeing here is the film and then underneath is bare paint. But these like dings are, we like held it behind a truck as it took off. Um, but it'll protect, yeah, the, you know, the actual paint against so many things because the worst case scenario is if the film gets ruined beyond aesthetic repair or whatever, you can just take it off and put a new one on. Well, that's the thing I like about it the most is a lot of people say, oh, let's uh, ceramic coat your truck. Like, that's going to protect your truck. It's, it's not a physical product. Like, it's a microscopic layer that, like, it's not going to protect against a rock chip, per se. Sure. This is a physical layer. Like, this is... This will protect against rock chips. In fact, it has protected on the Denali against plenty of rock chips. So that's why I'm a huge, huge fan of doing this. I've just never have found the top product until we came here. So I certainly don't want to talk about ceramic coatings, right? They do what they do and they do it well. And we'll actually end up topping your paint protection film with a coating because the characteristics of the coating is like slickness, shine, easy right. to clean, easy maintenance. But to your point, no, it's not going to protect against a chip or a door or anything like that. Or, or in this case, 
we show this demo. So this is a wire brush, and basically you can, you can scratch the surface, and almost instantly the scratches go away. So like for a guy like you who, who wants a purpose-built truck but wants it to look beautiful, you can kind of have both. Let's talk about the kind of the self healing of it. Cause yeah. I know even on the, the wrap that we have on the Denali, we've taken a heat gun to it. Now I don't know, again, the qualities of that wrap, but to your standard, I mean, you're saying this stuff just pretty much from the sun, right? Yeah, not even from the sun. This'll, this'll uh, self heal at like 70 degrees or less. Oh, so you wow. don't even need heat or hot water or anything like that. You kind Probably of want to see in that light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can see it over here, but. So eventually, so that's just oh, that's, that's not that. even no, oh, even better. Yeah. And that's a wire brush directly on it. Yeah. And again, like he was saying, even if it completely damages the wrap itself, pull it off, put a new piece, your paint's still protected. Correct. Yeah, it's a true sacrificial layer. On the gray truck out there, that's not an easy color to match. There's only one shop that I would trust to even try to match it, and with the pearl flake on top, it's literally the guy's hand that lays the pearl on top. If you go a little heavier, that panel is never going to match the rest. So I would much rather deal with replacing the clear bra on that thing than ever trying to repaint it because we know we've already repainted that tailgate which this would have completely protected the guy that backed up under that tailgate i wish i had done this a lot sooner today's the day this is my denali uh, i've actually purchased this truck i believe at this point four years ago maybe a little bit longer and this came from gm i'm assuming this was just a dealer installed option um you can see kind of the line there which surprisingly still doesn't show up that bad considering it's been washed a thousand times but this is just a front protection versus what we're going to be doing on this truck right right we're not one to talk bad about competition right now i don't know what the product is it seems to be performing as you'd like right it's stopping chips and stopping right. bug stains and things like that but just from an installation standpoint if you look at like this edge here how it doesn't wrap inside of the panel you know the evolution of being a good installer or being a great installer a lot has happened in the last few years to where we can actually wrap the edge completely to where you'll never see that this product is there and we'll do that all the way from the front to the back for a lot of vehicles like this setup is kind of your ideal dream setup do your hood do the front that's where your majority of rock chips are coming i don't know how many full vehicles do you guys do is this a common thing yeah i mean we do probably 80 percent of the vehicles that we do end up getting the full wrap that's awesome yeah people that come to us they're really looking for something special well and then we were talking earlier not only is it paint protection but it's paint enhancement right yeah, surprisingly it is, yeah. Cool thing about this truck is obviously the pearl flake in it, which I know sometimes hard to see on camera because we want such a nice fine pearl. If that's gonna enhance it, that's gonna be so rad. Like I'm super, super stoked to get it on this truck. Again, and mainly my main reason is to protect the truck, but hearing that there's all these other benefits to it, plus you're gonna ceramic coat kind of on top of it, which will make cleaning it that much easier. Super easy to clean. It'll stay cleaner longer, easy to clean. Also, it sounds weird, but paint is like a protection for the paint then you protect it with a ppf film then you protect the ppf with the coating so you're getting like all these protections to really make the truck easy beautiful clean long term being out at the ranch nowadays that is a lot harder to do so anything we can do to make that easier and protect my nice vehicles like i'm stoked stoked to be working with ceramic pro let's do it let's cool. get to it now we've got the obs pulled into the shop and like these are the shops you see on like the high end of the high end stuff. I've always wanted to come to a detail shop or a wrap shop like this. I mean, like, I love it. I love how clean and beautiful everything is. That's how you know you guys care about your stuff when everything's clean. Yeah, thank you. I mean, yeah, we try to take it to another level. Really, really do precision work. We consider ourselves to be, I guess, high end production because we do quite a bit of volume, but most cars that come to us stay for at least three days and a lot of them stay for over a week. Thank you for bringing the truck in super clean. That helps us a lot, but we're washing it. We're using a basically eco wash um, to just clean off any dust. We'll go over it too one more time just to make sure there's no contamination on it. But because it's so clean, I mean, we're gonna be wrapping this thing today. Then we'll do some like minor disassembly um, to get the best install possible. We'll remove emblems. We're gonna actually pull the door cards off and remove the handles. So that way, like on your truck where you kind of saw the line and then it starts to accumulate dirt, you basically will have a seamless install because we'll just put the emblems back on, put the door handles back on, you won't see any edges. Now, while they're getting the OBS prepped, come take a look at this BMW. This is fully wrapped. Yes, sir. That is yeah. awesome. So again, kind of like we were talking about on the Denali, there, there are no lines, there are no seams, everything is wrapped and tucked underneath each panel. And now I'm starting to see what you're saying with the paint enhancement. Like this has a different gloss look to it. For sure, yeah. It's 
they say it's like adding 10 coats of clear coat because just by the, the, the depth and thickness of the film, it's literally like adding 10 more layers of clear coat so you get more depth and more gloss. Yeah, this thing looks absolutely killer. And you guys know I'm a stickler for details. If I find a scene, I'm gonna point it out. <laughs> but there, there's nothing, I mean. Yeah, this one's ready to go picking up today. That's crazy. So one thing I was worried about being that you're adding that thickness is are we gonna lose side of the pearl because we went with a real light pearl in there but i mean seeing the metallic in this paint like it, it actually enhances it yeah you definitely will still be able to see it now i'm sure at this point in the world there's a million and one uh paint protection films but you guys actually manufacture your own correct yeah so i run a distribution business too so i support the network nationwide we have 3500 installers and those 3500 installers we started mostly with coatings right it's liquid in a bottle these are actually the product that will coat the ppf but Again, primarily the magic of what's going to happen to your truck today is installing the film. So, you know, this is it. It's called Ceramic Pro Kavacha. That uh, means armor in Sanskrit. And, I mean, that's basically what it is. It's just a film armor for your paint. Now, if I'm just a consumer, do you guys sell this to consumers? It's only to installers, no, right? Sure. We sell every product we have is professional network only. We have one product available to consumers it's called Care, and that's basically just like a spray sealant designed to help you care for your do aftercare. Gotcha. So that is a good thing in my eyes because that means you want. I mean, is there a warranty that comes along with this? Yeah. So this product is. Uh, it's a little bit confusing, but it's a 12 year warrantied film. So if you do nothing to care for it, we warranty for 12 years. If you sign on to our warranty program, basically, and you come back once a year to any of our certified installers nationwide to do basically like an annual touch up, you get essentially a new 12 year. So the warranty can actually last a lifetime as long as you care for it once a year. So where are your guys' locations, Ceramic Pro yourselves? So personally, I own or I'm partnered in four locations. This one here in Carlsbad, California. We've got another one, the first in San Diego in the Kearney Mesa area. Also in Houston in the Woodlands area. And I just opened, we had our grand opening in Las Vegas last, uh, last weekend. So if any of you guys are in any of those locations, and even if you're not, again, he's got a bunch of certified installers around the country, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. So make sure you guys check them out. But you can go to where? So for me, if you, if you call any of those four locations, we'll give you guys a 10% off discount on anything you want, any service. But if you're looking for anybody in the certified network, go to ceramicpro.com slash DMAX Rhino. I'm sure we'll put that uh, link Down there, up. right down there. There you go. <laughs> So right now what Chris is doing is you can actually see the film here hanging over the edge and after we let it dry out enough and it kind of gets frosty like this, we actually wrap it and tuck it into the edge so it's like totally seamless. This is actually surprisingly really difficult to do because if you don't do it right, you kind of get like little fingers um, that, that poke out. Right. So but you'll see here in just a second that 
it literally the film just disappears along the edge. So what's crazy is being somebody that has vinyl wrap stuff, and I know this is a whole bigger animal than vinyl wrapping, like just getting that edge clean is a nightmare. Unless you have, I mean, how many years have you been doing this? About four. There you go. Vinyl and paint protection film, on a scale of one to 10, paint if paint protection film is a 10, I think vinyl is a five. This stuff's a lot harder to work with. Now, if you guys have been watching the channel for any length of time, you know one of my favorite things is to tell somebody's story. And that's what I really like to do with this channel. It's been able to tell my story, but it also gets to tell somebody else's success story. So Adam's got a really cool story. I feel like falls in line with the work for it and then the channel. So tell us, how'd you get started? Oh man, so I graduated, or my mom basically made me go to college. I wanted to be a rock and roll star, right? Um, but my mom made me go, go to college, which I think was the right call, but after graduating from school, I moved to San Diego and I got the real job, you know, and I just did not like that. I wasn't fulfilled by it. I was very exhausted all the time. So I said, man, I'm going to start my own business. And I, I started writing on this journal, like ways that I could start a business with no money because I had no money. And one of the things on there was mobile auto detailing because I saw a lot of those guys out there. So one day I'm at my doctor's office and I heard them complaining about the mobile detailer didn't, didn't show up. So I stood up and said, I own a mobile detailing business. I'd never polished a car, nothing. So, and they said, great, when can you start? And I said, next Wednesday. So I went to my boss and I told him, hey, I need every Wednesday off forever. And he, <laughs> and he agreed to it. It was super cool. When I told my mom, she cried. She told me, you're absolutely not doing that. You're not going to wash cars for a living. But, you know, that led me to um, what I do now, which is running the distribution business, uh, the four locations, and you know the, the best thing that I get to do, which I was telling you a few minutes ago, is that we train a lot of guys all throughout the country, or really throughout the world, that have a dream like I had. And I, I literally started with a $5,000 credit card and no money in the bank, and just just built it step by step. So you know, this is the American dream, and uh, I'm stoked to not only have it for myself, but also be able to help people achieve theirs. One thing I get a lot of DMs about is people that say they want to start up a company. Well, I got no money and I got no, like, it doesn't take millions of dollars. It, it definitely could, sure. depending on what you want to do. And I'm sure it would help, but you can start something from basically nothing. Time is money, right? Yeah. And, and you can put your time into making money. That's what I did. I just sweated it out. I didn't have any money. Eventually I started to borrow a little bit here to use it and that's leverage. And you know, then you pay it off and you do it again. Credit is important. They don't teach you that in school. For sure. Credit is important. I don't care if you got all the cash in the world. If you can leverage credit at an interest rate that's basically nothing, like I'd rather use somebody else's money and keep my own and then just pay it back when you got it. All right, y'all, well, we've got one panel completely done. Obviously, I mean, this is a long process to do a whole vehicle, right? They, they kind of made an exception today to get one panel done for this video for us, but what do you anticipate? I mean, five days at least? About five days, yeah, for okay. the whole project. We're gonna come back in five days and see this. I'm, I'm super stoked. I mean, just seeing, like I said, the definition that has changed so far, just in the hood alone, seeing that in the whole truck is gonna be super rad. So again, huge thank you to Adam and the whole crew over here at Ceramic Pro. Make sure you guys check them out. CeramicPro.com slash DMAXRhino. Give them a call, 10% discount, right? 10% discount for the shops that I own. I know a lot of guys will honor that too. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a key, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best, I'm out. Adam, you're new to the videos. Thank you. We end all of our videos a certain way. Now I can tell you haven't watched all the way through my videos, but that's okay. Ah! <laughs> give us a, can you give us a roll the outro? I don't know what, it's, what I'm supposed to say. Just say roll the outro. Roll the outro. Damn.
Yeah.